Today we'll be solving some word problems using tape diagrams and the standard subtraction algorithm. It's your turn right away today where you go ahead and take this here and draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. After you draw the tape diagram, you can unpause the video. What was the whole amount? Did you come up with 213,546? And what were we subtracting from that? And how did you indicate that subtraction from that amount? So from the whole, 213,546, we are taking away 36,768. And this, that I just labeled as the unknown amount, that's what you're solving for. And we could call that A. Let's go ahead and do this subtraction using the standard algorithm with regrouping. Can we go 8 ones from 6? We must take one of those tens, so the four can become a three, and that one ten is regrouped to ten ones. So with the six ones, it becomes sixteen. And then we can go ahead and subtract in the ones place. Sixteen minus eight is eight. In the tens place, I now have three minus six, which I also cannot do. I take one of the hundreds, and that three tens becomes thirteen. Thirteen minus six is seven. Four minus seven, again, I cannot do that, so I carefully regroup. Fourteen minus seven is now seven. In the ten thousands place, I take one of those ten thousands to make it worth ten thousands, along with the two there. It becomes twelve thousands, minus six is six, and finally, one last regroup there, and I carefully write that in with my comma placing it, so my answer to that problem is 176,778. So I have about 37,000 and another 177,000, equaling about 214,000. And of course, these are exact amounts here but my answer looks reasonable. And I had a tape diagram showing the subtraction problem. Read this problem first. 1,000 minus 436. Let's draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. What is the whole? Right, 1,000. And what are we subtracting? 436. So we will go ahead and divide the 1,000 into smaller units there. We'll label the 436, leaving us with this other section here that we are solving for. In this case, we'll call it B. As you see, I have a place value chart where we will model the subtraction. And we'll model, of course, 1,000, because that's what it is that we are starting with. So that's it. <laughs> There's 1,000 there. And nothing, and nothing else. To be able to subtract, I want to subtract 6 from 0 in the 1's place. However, there are no 1's to be able to subtract. I need to regroup all the way over from the 1000's place. And you regroup one place at a time. You can trade in 1,000 for what? Right, 
ten hundreds. And then I can trade in one of those hundreds for how many tens? Ten tens. And finally, I can take one of those tens and regroup it as how many ones? One ten is worth ten ones. If you see our regrouping in the standard algorithm, it's 0 minus 6. I cannot do that. I cannot regroup from the tens place, the hundreds place. I must go to the thousands place where the 1 becomes a 0. And then it becomes 10. And then it became 9 so that I can go ahead and make it 10 tens there. And then those 10 tens became 9 also, so that we had 10 ones there. And then now are we ready to subtract? Yes, 10 minus 6 is 4. So we're subtracting 6. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Next we subtract 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 1, 2, 3, and if we counted those up, there would be 6 of them there just as there were four ones. In the hundreds place, it's nine of those, minus four of them, one, two, three, and four, in which case we are left with five of them. And in the thousands place, there's a zero. And we write 564 as 564. Here we have a word problem. Take a moment to read it. In 2013, the population of Walnut Creek was 66,400 people. Population of Pleasant Hill was 34,127. How many more people are in Walnut Creek than in Concord? This will be a subtraction problem, that is the operation that you're using, because you are comparing these amounts Let's set it up with a tape diagram to show that this is the case. Go ahead and make a tape diagram. You work through this problem just as I am working through it. So the larger amount is Walnut Creeks, which is 66,400 people. And from that amount, we will go ahead and subtract 34,127. So we'll label the tape diagram like this here. And what we're solving for is this missing amount. And we'll call that E. E represents the amount of people more that are in Walnut Creek than in Concord. We can even write a focused answer. There are blank more people in Walnut Creek than Pleasant Hill. Let's set up our subtraction. That's 66,400. And we will subtract 34,127. Can I subtract 7 from 0? Nope. I have to regroup. Where am I going to go to regroup? Right, I have to go all the way to the hundreds place. The 4 becomes a 3, and then that 100 can become 10 tens. That 10 tens then can become 9 tens, so that we have 10 ones. And then I can do some subtraction. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. 3 minus 1 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 6 minus 3 is 3. So I have 32,273 more people. 
I can also run a check for this, where I take that number, and of course I have to write it correctly to begin with, and I make sure to add in 34,127, and carefully I add those numbers. 3 plus 7 is 10, 0, regroup a 1. 1 plus 7 plus 2 is also 10, 0, regroup a 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. In the thousands place, I have 2 plus 4 is 6. And in, and in the ten thousands place, 3 plus 3 is 6. So the 66,400 there does match this here, that population of Walnut Creek. Therefore, my answer of 32,273 is correct. So remember, if it asks us to do a check, we do our check. If it asks us to make a tape diagram, then we should make a tape diagram. I guess the one thing that I forgot to do over here is label that missing part that I had figured out. Just think, hey, is this reasonable? Both of those are about 30,000, and then we put them together, you do get about 60,000. So we have word problems where we can make tape diagrams, where we show our work, and we also check it, and we express our answer clearly.